Meanwhile, the lawmaker representing Ukwa East and Ukwa West Federal Constituency of Abia State at the House of Representatives, Honorable Uzoma Nkem Abonta, has called on the federal government to revisit the call for restructuring of the nation's system of government following the current economic downturn brought about by the coronavirus pandemic. Honorable Nkem Abonta says restructuring will help states recover from the pandemic and thrive once again. Joining us now is the lawmaker himself, Honorable Nkem, Uzoma Nkem Abonta. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, yes. uh, let me also emphasize here again um, that Nigeria must be restructured if we must move forward. If, if you look at the, the structure of Nigeria now, you see that we have a lot of um, bottlenecks and jams that will not let us move forward. So except we go back to drawing board and patiently delineate and restructure Nigeria, we can go on. We need to have true federalism. The structure we have on ground now is a unitary type of government. It does not support uh, any federal system at all, where the confederating units are also beggarly at the center. The center appears to be very, very much concentrated with powers to the detriment of the uh, confederating units. So we must structure that every state will have uh, what uh, physical autonomy. Physical autonomy. We must, if we don't have a fiscal federalism, then we're not talking about uh, anything useful. Where every state will cop cap in hand, every month to come for fact to beg is not a uh, fit our constitution is laced with a lot of bottleneck of uh, several types that will not let us move forward except to go back and uh, restructure it as, as a lawmaker sir what, what if i may ask what is stalling the you know the acceptance as a as a, a, a plan of action for the house uh, the inevitable uh, conversation around restructuring. It has been raised over and over again, and it doesn't seem to be getting ahead. We lack the political will to do that, and that's what I'm begging. That's what meaningful agents are begging, that we should evolve the political will to restructure. The present architecture of Nigeria is lopsided, and it's suffering some persons. Those who think they are favored but we'll always want to fight restructuring. And fighting restructuring will bring crisis. So just that we don't have the political will, we know what to do. We've identified what to do. But the political will to get it done is the problem we have. And we are now saying sincerely that those keeping this political will should release it, that we should go on and get that done. For example, uh, President Mohammed Buhari gave his uh, orders and that what should happen to uh, judicial and other kind of money. What happened? He, did he reverse himself thereafter? Yes. So what are we heading to? We must get the political will to do the needful for Nigeria to be peaceful, for Nigeria to be one, and for us to forge ahead. Uh, you, you said something um, in your last interview um, about the this restructuring helping states to pick up again and thrive once again when you what what exactly did you mean when you said that this restructuring uh, going to be a vital link to state bouncing back from the challenges of the pandemic it's a, the pandemic has shown us that we have no economy we depend only on oil when the oil disappeared we couldn't do anything so if we restructure some states all the states will begin to look inward, will begin to look for IGR, and will begin to develop ways and means. Thank you very much for your time.